Hello all Thingsters and welcome to another video with me, Frederick. In this video I will demonstrate the pandas rolling method. This method performs calculations on a rolling window, so it's often used for signal processing or with time series data. I will use it to do some calculations on data about the Amazon stock. So for this one I have used a Jupyter Notebook to write my code and we start off by importing the necessary packages that I will need for the project Pandas, Yfinance and Matplotlib The data about the stock I got from Yahoo Finance which you can download data from using the Yfinance package of Python so I create Amazon data one year, which equals Y finance ticker, specify the ticker, and then we use the history method to get the data from today and one year back in time, which I specify period one year. We set actions to false, which will leave out the information about dividends and uh, stock split data, because I don't need them for this project. So let's have a look at the first 20 rows of the data frame. It looks like this. We have the date, the opening price, the highest price of that trading day, the lowest price of that trading day. We have the closing price and how much of the stock that was traded that day, the volume. I will start off by calculating two moving averages. A moving average is a statistic that captures the average change in a data series over time. I will calculate the moving averages for 7 days and 15 days. I will call them 7MA and 15MA and they will both get their own column in my data frame. I select the close column of my data frame since I want to do the calculations on the closing price. I specify for the rolling method how many days I want to use or do the calculations on. 7 for 7MA and 15 for 15MA and I chain it together with the mean since that is the value I'm interested in. Let's run it and see the output. We have the first 20 rows here and we can see that it has added new columns 7MA, 15MA and for the 7MA it starts on the 7th row and 15th row for 15MA since there is no available data before these rows it cannot calculate uh, until the 19th of April for 7MA and 29th of April for the 15MA we'll do another calculation on the volume column and I will um, calculate the accumulated volume for the last five trading days using rolling so I specify five for rolling and instead of the mean I use the sum method and this is to demonstrate that you can chain the rolling method together with pretty much any statistic that you would like to calculate we run and we can see the output once again the first 20 rows we have a new column called five vol which include the trading volume for the last five days summed up. You can also combine the rolling method with the aggregation method to perform calculations on multiple columns at the same time. I have done this here and I specified seven days as my window of calculation and I want the max price of the high column and the min price of the low column to see the highs and lows for trading week so we can see here for this one the highest price was 3432 for that week and the lowest price was 3161 and it's a good way if you would like to get a trading range lastly i will plot the closing price alongside my calculated moving averages to get a nice view of how they look it's just a bonus so we run this one and this is the output right here 
we can see how the closing price moves along the moving averages that I calculated earlier. All right, that was it for this video. I hope you understand how to use the pandas rolling method now. It also has a lot of more advanced options if you're maybe doing advanced signal processing of some kind. Um, but that's for another video. So thank you for watching and uh, have a good one.